Hello, I promised you guys a video a few months back about doing just like the stretching routine that I love to do for a full body, kind of rebalancing, feeling better, getting back into the groove of things. Um, I like to do this when I'm feeling just like a general tension or just to kind of wake myself up and ground myself, um, that type of thing. So we are gonna do that today. So just follow along as you'd like. Um, so just so just follow along as you'd like. It just kind of, I'll talk through some of it, but then also some of it I might just kind of go with my intuition and my flow. And nothing is like, I'm not a yoga teacher. This is just something that I like to do for stretching. Um, it just feels really good for me. So you can go ahead and follow along and I hope you enjoy. I like to do this to get some space in my ribs and my obliques. Then oh. as I go down, you might feel some tension in your hamstrings. So this is where I like to pedal it out with my legs and kind of just like, as I do this, you'll see me get lower and lower as I get a little bit more flex and range of motion in those hamstrings. And then I'll just come down, come back up. And then this time I'm gonna come down, then come back up for a little flat back and then just do a forward fold. And then I come down to the floor and I go into this up dog. And then a lot of times I go right back into child's pose from here. Then I come back up and I go into downward dog. And then in here, I'll also just pedal it out. And then when I'm feeling like I can do a full downward dog, then I'll just kind of hold it. Another thing I love to do here is a split. So you bring one leg up. And then I'll take it down and lace between my arms and get a really good stretch here on my legs. So this leg is forward, this one's all the way back. And then just lifting up through my chest. And then same thing on the other side. And then sometimes I'll do more variations of that, but or I do some warrior poses, but just to keep this shorter, I'm gonna go into my seated, seated position moves. Um, so from there, I really like to just do some seated position stuff. And I'll start with butterfly. And then of 
course I like to do one leg in, one leg out, and just grabbing that foot. And then another thing I like to do is when I'm grabbing this foot, it doesn't always feel natural for me to just go straight with the second hand. So I'll bring this hand over and around, stretching out all those obliques in that low back. And for some reason, this feels easier to reach my foot in this position. So I'm here, and then I take my arm over and around, and then I can reach my foot good. And then I just try to let my body relax into this. And then we'll do the other side. So same thing, get this foot. And if you're not as flexible as me, that's okay. Just take it to where your body feels like it has a good stretch. Take your other arm over and around. Oh, I love, and then if that feels really good, just take it really slow. And if you find a spot that's really like right here, I'm really feeling that stretch, I'm just gonna hold it until it starts to just move along itself here. Oh. And I feel a really, really good stretch right along my hip bone and my low back, which is where a lot of people have tension and can always find a stretch to help with that. So this one is really great. And then I'll go ahead and do both legs. And then take it back here. And another thing I do, I'll do this standing up too, but kind of just like rotating. A lot of times when I do this, I feel like I can just get a really big breath in my lungs and it just kind of opens up that whole lung space. And then we'll take it back to our back. So a couple of great ones, of course, just knee to chest. And then when I'm here, I really like to like circle the knees. And especially like when I'm on a hard floor like this or if I have a yoga mat on a hard floor, it feels really good on my sacrum and my SI joints. And then do the other way as well. And then another really great stretch for that low back is just to put your arms out and then just let your legs fall one way. And then the other. And you can hold these stretches for longer as well. And then of course you could stretch your other leg straight and bring this leg over to get that stretch there. That feels really good for me. Um, and then you can bring your leg up cross it over your other knee. And if you're feeling like this isn't much of a stretch, go ahead and grab onto the back of your leg right there and you should feel it all along here into your glute. Do both sides. I like to breathe into these and let your, my body relax into them. Because as you do, you'll see that your body just really relaxes into that space. And then one other one that I wanted to show you that's one of my really favorite arm ones is when I'm in child's pose, I, I'm going to thread my arm through to get a really good back stretch. Um, and then you can also bring it up, so I'll show you. But um, So even if you're here, you can, let me see, you can kind of start, open up, and then you can bring your arm through. Another thing I like to do here is to bring this arm out. And then same thing on the other side. You can bring arm up and then thread it through. And then I like to get that extra rotation in my thoracics by doing this. Just something I do because it feels good. And you can also do that when you're in, like if you're in child's pose like this, you can also bring it through here and just let your body 
relax into this child's pose and then also thread your arm through. Same thing here. But yeah, just a few um, stretches and a routine that I really enjoy that has worked for me. And then I generally will finish up by either laying flat on the floor um, and just taking a few deep breaths or just ending it like this if I'm needing to move on my, with my day. Nothing crazy, nothing complicated. Mix and match as you please. Um, just do what works for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love if you would follow along at Encompass Wellness on Instagram or you could check out our website, encompasstm.com.